Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp as we head into another night of NBA action here at SBRforum.com. It's time for me to release my NBA picks of the day once again. Now, split a pair again last night, trying to get back on track here, winning two in a row here on the same evening. And tonight, short slate of uh, Saturday picks here tonight. I think I found a couple of plays that could get us back onto the winning track here. So we'll start it off in Milwaukee where the Golden State Warriors are coming into town after beating up on the Memphis Grizzlies last night. Warriors come in as a four and a half to five point favorite with a total of between 198 and 199 points, depending on which book you're looking at now. And this one, I think the total actually has a lot more value than the spread here. The Warriors, I think, are a little bit of a trap coming off the back to back because they could rest some players, even though the only player they have announced so far it's going to rest here is Andre Iguodala, which shouldn't mean too much, but they could announce some later in the day, so keep an eye on that. But I think the over could have a lot of value instead here. 198 and a half, 199 with the uh, Warriors off the back to back. Their defense should be at least a little bit uh, shoddy here. And the Bucks uh, rested at home should have at least the ability to get into the upper 90s in scoring in this one. If that's the case, the over here is definitely uh, one of the better plays here this evening. With the way the Golden State Warriors play in pace, the Bucks are going to have no choice but to play up in pace in this game here and to uh, keep scoring points to keep up with a very high powered Warriors offense here. So I'm going to go over 199. Next one half four, use the Oklahoma City Thunder heading into Utah to play the Jazz tonight. Jazz come in as a four and a half point home dog in this one with a total of 195 and a half points. Very similarly, I think the over could have some value in this one. Now, Utah played last night in Denver, got beat up pretty bad. So you think they'll be coming out in this game here off the back to back with nothing to lose, obviously, this season except for uh, draft slots. And I'd uh, probably come out and uh, try to play the Oklahoma City Thunder pretty solid here. I think the Thunder, with uh, their, their their injuries right now, the news of Kevin Durant, they're probably going to be a little bit deflated, which means their defense might not be as engaged as it normally would be. And uh, recently here this season, although both matchups between these two teams have gone under the total, the most recent one finished at 99 to 94, which is very close to what the total is here for this one. And I think we could see uh, the over uh, cash in this one, despite the Utah Jazz's defense being very good here post All Star break. Off of the back to back, I think they'll have a little bit of trouble guarding Russell Westbrook and the rest of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Still a pretty good team, even without Kevin Durant and Serge Ibaka in this one. So I'm going to go over 195 and a half in this one. Add that to over 199 between the Bucks and the Warriors. Best of luck to you on those two. Make sure you check out my article as well for some more trends and analysis of these picks. But until then, I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of the Sharp Pick.